Okay, I should have made this video earlier at the start of um, taking this gun apart and breaking it down and stuff like this. So I'm going to uh, kind of do a catch up right now to show you what I've been doing because I've been getting a lot of questions about, you know, sort of taking this gun apart and refinishing questions and stuff like that. So basically what I wanted to do, this is my Marlin 3030. And I wanted to refinish the stock, you know, the, the wood parts, the stock and the foregrip. So basically people were asking when I when I shared my pictures on social media, people were asking, um, you know, how, how I did this and how I did that, you know, and stuff like that. So. So. I took the gun apart, of course, as you can see here. And right now I'm at the staining process, which means I have to put the clear coat on it, on the, the foregrip and the stop. And well, I, the reason I haven't done it yet because I don't have any, I have to go to the hardware store and pick up a can of um, clear coat of whatever. I don't, uh, I don't exactly know what I'm going to put on it yet, but one of the processes is to when you're doing woodwork if you've never done woodwork or anything it's pretty simple pretty simple to learn so I'm gonna just tell you what I did um, it didn't take me long to do uh, the wood parts on a gun it shouldn't take shouldn't take you that long so what I did of course I took the gun apart and I stripped it down stripped down both parts with some um, some paint remover which is just some liquid paint remover so what I did I poured it in a can got a paintbrush brushed it on both parts and then I took let it set for maybe a minute or two now the finish the finish that's on these guns is it's very thin so it comes off really easy you can use just about any kind of paint remover so that's what I did and then let it set for about a minute or two take some steel wool wipe both wipe both parts down now you might have to you know brush it on again just to kind of clean it better take your steel wool wipe it down again take a rag a, like a cloth rag and then wipe it clean so after that step you kind of want to let it dry for maybe I don't know 15 20 minutes you know after you wipe it down you can even dry it off with a like an air hose or something and you know kind of uh, blow out like your little holes and stuff like that you know you can use an air hose to blow out your little holes then after that you want to use between 80 and 120 grit sandpaper to sand these down now I recommend using 100 grit because 80 you can use 80 but you have to sand it light. But I recommend using 100 grit. Now, when you start your sanding process, you're sanding bare wood. Now, one of the big mistakes that a lot of people make when they when they start sanding bare wood, they think that they have to get bare wood extremely smooth. It doesn't have to be like glass. And a lot of people make the mistake of using 600 grit sandpaper to sand bare wood. You do not want to do that because if you do, when you start the staining process, your stain is just going to beat up and roll off, kind of like Rain X on a car. That's what you don't want. I've seen that many times, and you don't want to do that. But you want to you want to make your when you're sanding bare wood, you of course you want to sand with the grain. You want to sand this way and not this way. If you sand this way, you're going to scratch up the wood. Bad. So you don't want to do that. Um, you know, these parts right here don't take much sanding at all. Make sure you hand sand because uh, you don't want to use a power tool because you can you can mess up your um, you can deform your your gun stop and you don't want to do that either. Like these nice curves and stuff, you know, you don't want to mess up your curves in your gun stop and you can end up taking off too much wood. So, uh, 
So after the sanding process, you get everything sanded down, get it all clean and everything, sand out all your imperfections and stuff like that. After your sanding process on mine, and then you have to uh, uh, use, uh, ah, what am I trying to say? Next is your staining process, which on mine, I wanted something darker, which was my reason for redoing mine. I wanted something a little darker. So my stain I use, you can use anything you want. You can use um, like a mahogany. Mahogany would be more of a reddish color. Um, you can use a lighter color like a pine. I, I use dark, dark walnut, which is what I have on here. Dark walnut is what I have on here. Now for the staining process, you want to get you a clean rag, take a clean brush, brush your stain on, take a clean rag, wipe it off. A lot of people, I've seen a lot of people when they stain their wood, they stain it and they leave it on like paint. You don't do that with stain. You, you brush it on and then you wipe it off. You do not want to just leave it on there and let it dry. You want to wipe it off with a rag because it's called stain for a reason. You know, it, it actually stains the wood. It's, you know, it's wood stain. It actually stains the wood. So, now, that's where I'm at. I'm, I'm, I stopped at my staining process. Like I said, I have to go buy some, some um, varnish or whatever to put on it right now, which, uh, which I'm going to do that today. So, now for the rest of this video, I'm going to um, probably film some of my um, varnishing process so uh, I'll just stop it right there and then the other part of this video uh, will be yeah of course the, the the like your clear coat varnish process and then after that I will do two coats of that and I will like wet sand between coats and then after that I'm going to um, clean this while I got this gun apart I want to um, clean it and oil it real good I might as well do that once I you know you know I consider I have the gun apart so it'll make it a lot easier and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just wipe it down with some gun cleaner spray it down and then I'm gonna wipe it down with some gun oil so that's that's so my next step is the just you know the varnish process or whatever and then I'll be putting the gun back together so stay tuned for that 